another factor made detection even harder. Ground clutter is the background noise that radars cannot filter out completely. Trees moving in the wind, metal structures scattering echoes, even the uneven rise of Earth itself. The 92N6E radar was built with short wavelengths for precision, but those wavelengths bounced wildly against the terrain, producing countless false returns. On the operator's scopes, what looked like irregular shapes bled into one another. Was it a bird, a ghost signal, or something hostile? With no positive identification, missile tubes stayed shut. Every passing second, the approaching swarm crept deeper into Russian airspace without a single missile fired. To make matters worse, the drones began their run from positions only two kilometers beyond the base perimeter. Inside that narrow zone, the S-400's interceptors faced another problem. Missile fuses require space to arm and flight room to stabilize. At such close range, launch was a gamble, an unguided shot that risked failure before a warhead could even detonate. In practice, this meant the very heart of the system could not respond once the enemy crept close enough. The operators knew something was there, but lacked both data and distance to act. Meanwhile, the attackers had no such handicap. They carried simple optical sensors, nothing as exotic as phased arrays or sophisticated jamming suites. Yet simplicity worked in their favor. Where the radar struggled against clutter, a basic camera could instantly recognize the distinct outline of the S-400's hexagonal targeting array. Infrared guidance only sharpened the view, painting heat signatures against the dawn sky. The swarm did not need a complex picture. It needed a visual cue to confirm the target.